If I ever needed a tissue, it'd be right now. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Amanda. I'm back with another comedian, this time Michael McIntyre. And I'm going to watch his People Without Children Have No Idea What It's Like sketch. Because I feel like this one might hit home, as everybody seems to know what it's like to have kids. Especially the ones that don't have any at all. You know nothing. (laughs) They're the first ones to give advice or tell you what you should or shouldn't be doing, which can be rather annoying at times. But... I'm sure this video is going to be a right hoot. <laughs> so let's get straight into it. Children, and there are people in this room who don't have children. And the people who don't have children, um, they think they know, don't they? They think they know. They, think they know what it means to have children. Sometimes they chat about it, don't they? And they're little couples, you know, oh, I'd love to start a family one day with you. It'd be lovely. You'd make a really good dad. Oh, I think you'd be an amazing mum. It'd be so, wouldn't it be so lovely having little, little, little versions of you and me running around? I'd love to have a family. And you, you think you know what you're talking about. You have no idea. You have no idea what it's like. You have no idea how difficult, how difficult things will become in your life. Things that you don't even consider to be things will become nearly impossible (laughs) when you have children. I'm talking about things like leaving the house, for example. (laughs) This is how people without children leave the house. Shall we leave the house? (laughs) Yes. This is how I leave the house almost every day. Lucas, Oscar, come downstairs. We're late. Why aren't you downstairs? Put your shoes on. I don't know where my shoes are. Put your shoes on. Go and find your shoes. Where did you see them last? On my feet. After that, get your shoes on. Come here, come here. Arms up, arms up, arms in, arms in, arms up, arms up, arms in. That's my wife. She's so tired, she can't dress herself. (laughs) Arms in, what arms, darling? Where are we going? I want to go to bed. Where are we going, darling? Darling, you've got Lucas's shoes on your hands. I found your shoes, darling. You put your shoes on. Where's Ozzy? Come downstairs! We're late! Put your coat on. I don't want to wear my coat. You, you know people without children? You know how you do zips up? I've seen how much time you have in your lives. How you focus on it. You get the one with the fabric. You just pop it in, don't you? Nestles in. Then you pause, thinking about your free life and what you might want to do with it later that day. And then you just glide up, don't you? Do you think I have time for that shit in my life? <laughs> Every single morning. Yeah, oh, ruin it. Ruin it. Ruin it. Stay still. You're going to have to put another coat on. I can't. I've ruined this. I've ruined this. I'm sorry. I've made the situation work. Ozzy! My three year old will never come downstairs. The only way to get him to leave the house is to have to bluff. We have to pretend that we're leaving without him. It's the only way it'll work. We have to all go, bye-bye, Ozzy. We're all going then. We're all going. My my other son loves it, the six-year-old. We're leaving Ozzy. He's going to stay here. I hate him. I hate him. (laughs) Don't be so rude about your brother. Say goodbye. We're not really leaving. We're pretending to leave, Okay? Say goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Ozzy. Bye-bye. He doesn't care. He just goes, (laughs) bye-bye. Then we have to come back in and explain to him, we're not really leaving, darling. We love you. It's okay. I'll buy you something if you come. Will you come if I buy you something? This is every single time we leave the house. The other day, we're leaving the house, and I just had enough. I just said to my wife, I'm sorry, I can't do this. We're bluffing. We're saying bye-bye to him. Then my wife says, let's go and get him. I'm like, stop, no, I've had it. No, stop. I cannot go through this every single time we leave the house. And it's driving me insane. OK? I say, we, I say we call his bluff. I think he has to learn a lesson. OK? Let's go. Let's just go. Let's go to Corfu. Let's have a nice holiday. <laughs> You have no idea what it's like, you childless people. You have no idea. Driving, you go driving. You, you drive in cars, don't you? Driving along, yay! What's the biggest drama you have to put up with? Oh, it's a bit chilly. Oh, put the blower on. Oh, that's nice now. Oh. oh, look, they've opened a new Carluccio. We should go there. We could go there any night. We could go there any night. Oh, what's this song? I love this one. Freedom! my children into the car, I work out what'll cut off the blood supply, then I ease it a bit. Stay there! <laughs> we try and behave normally. Oh, what's this song? It's the wheels on the bus. Go, ding, 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 ding. Again, again! <laughs> Look, there's a new Carluccio's there. We will never go there. <laughs> the other day I 
was checking my children in the rearview mirror to see that they're safe. We're on the motorway, OK? I look, you just angle it to check that they're both OK, because, you know, you're looking after them. Neither of them were there. <laughs> they had both wound the windows down and had their heads on the motorway out of the window. Going, Yay! Both of them, either side. Yay! My wife and I just lost it. Yay! They can't hear us. They're having the times of their lives. Yay! Way, going 80 miles an hour to stick my head out of my window to try and communicate with my child. Get in the car! What are you saying? My wife's doing it too. Get in the car! What is it not it? All four of us had our heads out of the window. <laughs> Meanwhile, a childless couple is driving past. Oh, look at the kids. I'd love to start a family one day. You have no idea what you're talking about. Sleeping. <laughs> Sleeping at night. This is how people without children. Yeah, most nights, yeah. Good night, darling. Good night. Good night. Sometimes you go, sleep well, and the other one goes, I will. I will. <laughs> That's how cocky, how arrogant you are. I will, I know I will. Good night, darling. Have a good sleep. <laughs> good night. It's been a long time since my wife and I said good night to each other, okay? <laughs> now we just go, good luck. <laughs> good luck to you, good luck. <laughs> All through the night, they're screaming, Daddy, 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 Robbie, Daddy! Sometimes they just wake up wide awake in the middle of the night. I'm asleep, it's like two o'clock in the morning. I wait, you know when sometimes you just, you don't realise it, but you sort of half open your eyes. Sometimes when you think, I half open my eyes, my son is in my face. <laughs> What the hell are you doing here? What time is it? What time is it? It's two o'clock in the morning, what do you want? I want to go to school. Go to school? What are you talking about? It's to go, go back to bed. I've got my shoes on. You do, you found your shoes. <laughs> I fixed my jacket. How the hell did you... Oh, up. What are you doing? It's two o'clock in the morning, you idiot. <laughs> go to bed. Where's Ozzy? He's by the front door. He's never been there in his life. <laughs> Oh, honestly, I don't think I snorted that many times in one video before. That was absolutely hilarious. I think he's so funny. And I don't know if just because I felt that. Like, everything he said, it's just normal, everyday things. But they're so true. If I ever needed a tissue, it'd be right now. <laughs> Oh, but it is like the simplest of things, like leaving the house. I mean, that's a given. But what do you talk about the sleep? Honestly, you don't. You never sleep the same again. It's true. And you rarely ever have a hot cup of tea. Like, I'll make it. I'll leave it while I do something really quick. Completely forget about it. Come back to a cold cup of tea. But you know what? Now, I actually really enjoy cold cups of tea. I know. I know. I've, so many people think it's disgusting, but now I enjoy it. Almost. For any of my viewers with kids, what is something that's changed that you never expected? Put it in the comments. And as always, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, smash that like button if that's what you're into, and I'll see you in the next video.